In this tutorial, we will be taking an introductory look at hash tables in C++. Hash tables are useful for storing large amounts of data in an efficient manner. In the link in the video description, you can find everything you need to create a C++ program. Simply copy and paste the code into your own project. This tutorial assumes that you are familiar with arrays, pointers, modular arithmetic, algorithm efficiency, and linked lists especially. To learn more about linked lists, please see the previous tutorial on linked lists. With that in mind, let's begin. A hash table is a data structure for storing key value pairs. It uses keys rather than index numbers to look up table entries. To implement a hash table in C++, you would create an array of linked lists. A simple hash table is like a multi-dimensional array. In a two-dimensional array, the elements consist of rows of a fixed length. In the picture being shown, we have a two-dimensional array with a length of three elements. Each of these elements is exactly four elements long, no more, no less. Notice that the maximum size of this two-dimensional array is 12. That means it can store no more than 12 data entries. A hash table, on the other hand, can store virtually infinite number of entries. Even though it only has five linked list buckets total, each of these linked lists can grow or shrink. As you can see, the hash table is a hybrid between an array and a linked list, so it comes with the strengths and weaknesses of both data structures. Looking up elements by index makes an array very efficient. No matter where an item is stored in the array, it always takes the same amount of time to retrieve it. In technical terms, getting an item from an array is an O of 1, or constant time, operation. Looking up elements in a linked list is a lot less efficient. You can't just directly access any node in the list. Instead, you have to traverse down the list until you find it. If the item you're looking for is at the front of the list, it's an O of 1 operation. If it's at the end, it's an O of N operation, where N is the total number of nodes in the list. So you can see that a linked list is horribly slow compared to an array. With the hash table, we get a compromise between the runtimes of an array and a linked list. To maximize the efficiency of a hash table, we need a good hash function. A hash function decides where to store and retrieve items in a hash table. Generally, a hash function involves modding the key by the table length to generate an index number. This index number refers to a location, or bucket, in the hash table. Here's an example. Suppose the hash function takes a string as its parameter, and then it adds up the ASCII values of all the characters in the string. Then it mods the sum of these ASCII values by the table length. If the key is a word like pumpkin, and the table is the length of 13, then the resulting index number would be 5. Occasionally, different words will generate the same hash function result. For example, the keys tar and rat will both hash to the index 2 if there are 13 buckets total in the hash table. When two keys hash to the same index, we get a hash collision. To maximize the efficiency of storing and retrieving items in the hash table, we need to minimize the number of collisions. Each collision is another item in the bucket, another node in the linked list. We know that storing and retrieving items in a linked list grows more inefficient as the list grows longer. So it makes sense to keep these linked lists as short as possible. There are several ways to write a good hash function. Making the table size a prime number is a good way to minimize collisions. In general, a good hash function fills out a hash table fairly uniformly. The print histogram method of the hash table class in the code example lets you visualize the hash table. Ideally, the distribution of items should be fairly balanced. For more information on hash tables and to get the code for building this project, please visit the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.